Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with another long haul. Yeah. yeah! We had such a good response on the last one. Well, also we shop. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're still sourcing a lot. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, what are you going to do, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, so we have a giant haul from National Thrift Store Day. Yeah, that's right. We went to three thrift stores that day, and then we have a little mini part of another haul from, from the weekend before. Yeah. But yeah, National Thrift Store Day, we were at the thrift store all day we we're celebrating it was a national holiday yeah we didn't get back home till like six o'clock it was <sighs> easy peasy easy peasy okay well, some I of think... this might be for me though have you taken this stuff out for me you better here show me first uh there's one over there for <laughs> I see, sure i see one <laughs> okay yeah when it's national thrift store day it's 50 percent off you shop for yourself too yeah bonus right yeah okay okay uh this first one i know is definitely not for you Yes. I picked up two of these you did. because they're new with tags. Yes. This is Savannah Jane, which is a boutique brand, but it's very Johnny Was coated. It is okay. very, very Johnny Was looking. And we have we have listed and sold uh, a many of these, and I don't think we've ever sold any that are new with tags. I don't think so. So I got a couple. Oh. So, yeah, here's the first one. That looks just like Johnny Was. It really does. If I was a Johnny Was girl, which I'm not because I can't afford it or it's too big, but, but like, even, even right? the, the embroidery, like, it's nice. It is very nice. And, like, no one would know this was not Johnny Was. So a lot of people will probably wear this because it's cheaper. There you go. I'm guessing. But we have sold it before. I don't guess on thrift purchases it much anymore. Right. We look it up. This is number two. Also new look tags. Look how cute. So Super this was cute. $42, it says, huh? If this is all embroidered, it's real nice and it's not polyester. Right? Some yeah, people in the some comments embroidery on the sleeves. They as were well. like they agreed with me in the polyester is is no fun thrifting yeah. through that crap. Not. Okay. Okay. Next. Next is you got you got the, these two also. These are some kind of more a little more unique Chico shirts. Yes. This is an iCat watercolor print. So it's a double. Double. And it's thin, and I just I just got it because it looked really nice, yeah. and I think somebody would want it, and it was a couple bucks. Right, you guys indulge me if you have. Yeah, I gotta take go. my mom back. Hold on. And most of the Chico stuff we find, it's like not like she said, it's not not usually this really lightweight kind of cotton shirts. So that was one, and there was two. This is the second one. I gotta make sure that one. Crap out of these and these were right both, there. I think, marked at $3.99. And some of our thrifts have been marking up Chico significantly. Yeah. So they were two bucks. And I'm like, if they have a pattern and they're this lightweight material, we normally can sell them. Yeah. In blue and white. And this is green and blue and white. So that, that's Close. good. Close we, we are picking up, I would say, well, I can't speak for Dan because we thrift separately. But I'm picking up maybe 1% of the Chicos I see. Yeah, I'm picking up way less of it for sure. Yeah. Watch, this is probably going to be no. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a pair of Joseph Ripkoff pants. Come on. Joseph Ripkoff is pulling out the stops. Look know, at this. It's super cool, right? Yeah, it has this rhinestone stripe. I don't think but you just can on tell. One leg. Yeah, that's and super it, like, cool. disappears into the pleat here at the top of the pants. Super that's cool. amazing. Yeah. Um, Get in there and show them the, us... the rhinestones. I will. They're so cool. So, this is what the tag looks like. We find this brand quite a bit here in town. Oh, there he is. But yeah, let's see if I can get the... Yeah, look at the, the rhinestones. That is so cool. Now, photographing this, this might have to be a, a onesie-twosie. With some, de like, a detail shot? Yeah, in the cover, because when you see it from far away, it looks cool, but it doesn't look as cool. Right. So yeah. sometimes we take photo room and we'll put two pictures side by side. You can layer them in photo room. Uh, this is another pair of black pants. What are these? No, this is not pants. This is a this skirt. Is skirt, okay, and it has is, the real, real tag. This is a it. real, real tag, but this is from Michael Kors collection. It's very different. Very. This is the top of the line 
high, high end Michael Kors. This is equivalent to like Ralph Lauren Purple Lake. Yeah. And it's almost as expensive. And I'm telling you, they had this marked at three ninety nine. Crazy. Like, and then the Michael Michael Kors will be marked all the way up. Right. So this is what the Michael Kors collection tag looks like. It's just a gold tag with the white script, and it says collection underneath. Um, I don't know what the retail price on this was, but I'm willing to guess it's like eight, nine hundred dollars, something like that. Yeah, it needs a lint roll. But yeah, I. I never look at my mom's relentlessly <laughs> texting. Um, I never look up. Uh, <laughs> It'll be all right. Everything stops your family always. 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 Um, I never skip the skirt section. Yeah. And this is like a hot tip. Hot tip. I know we've had this discussion in our Facebook group, which is called the Reseller Workroom. If you want to join, it's free. We've had this discussion in there many times, and a lot of people skip skirts. I never do. And this was at a thrift store that had been 50% off for many hours. Yes. And it was still sitting there. Yep. People don't hit the skirts up. Nope. And we sell a lot of skirts. Yeah, we do. We could look in Vendo and tell you. We sell a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Good. Mom's Next. good. Everything's good. Next. Next. Uh, this is vintage Magnolia Lane Masters Women's Little golf top hot tip hot tip if it has this on it i look it up right so not not everything that has the masters logo embroidered on it is going to be worth big money but sometimes yeah. it will be yep so I, uh, we're going to look this up and see yeah i liked it because it was boxy it was cropped is classic it was stretchy there's it had a lot of things going for it but dan was at the register and i'm like do you want to take a dollar fifty chance on this and he's like yes absolutely because <laughs> it was three dollars so it was only a dollar fifty all right what are you friend <laughs> somebody said they loved that i called everything <laughs> uh, this is a pair of escada uh vintage escada pants that i oh what's wrong i see a hole there's a hole these are hiding in the menswear section and there is a little mop hole here yep you can patch these. Um, a tailor could do it. Yeah. I'm not sure if these are worth that. I don't know either. Escada's good, but their vintage stuff is similar to like YSL or Dior, and it can be hit or miss. Yeah. Let me show you guys the tag here. Oop, missed. There we go. <laughs> it's just not. The white tags are hard. The white tags are really difficult because we got bunch of light blast this way sorry uh we find escada a lot and i think that you could probably find it too but i wouldn't pay a crazy amount for it no. all right Got some menswear this is a just a window pane michael michael kors this was like three bucks i was like okay people know what size they wear people know what size they wear uh it's the gold it says michael michael kors and like this is this is polyester rayon you know I, it, like not it, it, it'll still it'll sell. go it'll still sell for probably you know 50 60 bucks something yep. like that because you know if you don't watch the house of Cub youtube channel you might not know about <laughs> fabric and it right. might not be an, a red flag for you no but that, is, that is the sign like if it's not 100 percent wool that's the sign of a quote that's a lower tier Garment. He's meaning wool as, as the base. Because yeah. you could have wool and silk or wool and cashmere. Right, and then it's right, even right. better. Yes. But your standard like designer high-end sport coat is going to be wool. Yep. Not polyester. No. And your ties are going to be silk, not polyester. Mm. You heard it here. <laughs> okay. Fabric snob right here. Hey. You know if you're paying four bucks. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a pair of Theory career pants you know we did a what sold today i'm sure you can tell we're wearing the same clothes i am and we sold two theory things we did. this one is the little bit of newer it is newer newer tag and it still has that that wider waistband on it is it wide mm, not really i wouldn't call that wide it's just got, it's got the double you know double closure it's a little wide for dress pants okay um but it is a mid-rise waist and you should know that 
because people are looking for that these days. Not everyone likes a high rise waist. Really? Not everyone. Okay, we're going to be in pants world for just a little bit. This okay. is uh, Lafayette 148. Love. Dress yeah. pants. Dress pants. This is the Barrow pant. It says so right on the inside there. Love that. I mean, it's a newer style. Yes. Uh, oh. And if you don't know Lafayette 148, it's like Eileen Fisher, that kind of level. These are retail probably $300 pants. Yep. And some people with career pants, you know, those are going to sell for a little bit more, but you can, the same thing can be said for like the J crew. Yeah, totally. Or the banana Republic. If they have a name associated with the pant, mm -hmm. people know what style they wear too, yes. which makes it easier to sell. Yeah. Love that. All right. This is another pair of Lafayette 148s but in Brown. Do these have a name? These are the Irving pants. We love a name. <laughs> yes. If they were the same, the I would have lot of them last time. Yeah, they're different sizes, though, too. Yeah. There you go. There's the Lafayette 148. This stuff is insanely expensive at, like, Nordstrom or... I know. I'm, I mean, I'm not joking. This is probably... Retail on these pants is probably $298 or something. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> I, mean, I we'll, still... We'll probably be able to sell them for, what, 40 to 60 bucks yeah. in that range? Always check the women's dress pants. A lot of people don't check there either. They're like so consumed with jeans. Yeah. And I'm telling you. All right. I found three pairs of these T by Talbots navy blue like sweatpants. Are they all the same size? They are all size small. Yes. We love the T by Talbots and we should show <laughs> you the label because we're always going on about the T by Talbots. It doesn't make you a ton, no, but it, it sells so it, fast. It sells really, really fast. It must be good. I don't, they don't make it my size. Does anyone wear T by Talbots? Let us know. There you go. The hoodies do so well. Yeah. So these were all marked $4.99. So they were like, you know, $2.50 a piece. Should we lot them or do a quantity? Uh, I don't know. Maybe lot them. Like, so who I, wants I found three pairs three of the same blue pants? and one black. Uh, so maybe do the black and the blue together and then. And then the two blues? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know if I would buy a lot of the same color. I'm just wondering. Yeah, that makes sense. I get you. I get what you're saying. Okay. Come on, men's wear. Normally, I wouldn't buy a pinstriped sport coat on its own. Did you see me like, do you look for pants? I did. I, spent, I, I touched every single pair of pants in that store, and I could not find them. But there was no way I was not going to buy this, because it was marked $3.99, so I paid 2 bucks for it. Okay. And I mean, yes, it's a three button and it's pinstripe, but it's Burberry. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not, and it's a new, more recent Burberry. I need like, to make I'm sure not, this is real. I'm not going to leave that. It's absolutely real. There's a couple of things that made me think it's real just from the shot he just shown you is that the lining of the pocket is the Novacek. And yes. It lines up perfectly. Yes. A, a rip off coat wouldn't. Have that kind of detail. No. Lining and, up and the fabric pattern that, is hard. The tag on the inside of the pocket where the size is also has the name of the, the style. It's called the Kensington. It's got a union made tag in it. Like everything about this. So out. now we need to go on eBay and buy some Kensington pants with the right drop oh. and then make a suit because a suit smart. sells for you so, so smart. much more. God, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> You're on the case. Put a safe search in. Let's go. Nice. Hey guys, I need to interrupt our haul video to tell you to not leave money on the table and sell more with Vendu. Our good friends at Vendu have sponsored this portion of the video and they've asked me to tell you why we use Vendu every single day in our reselling business. Vendu allows us to list better, list faster to more places and to explore new audiences for our items. Every marketplace, as you know, has its own audience, and obviously the more eyes you're able to get on your items, the greater chance you're going to give it to sell. Vendu has a lot of great features that allow you to get your listings done faster, like templates that allow you to pre-fill commonly used fields, and you can cross-post to other marketplaces with just a few clicks. Vendu currently supports 11 marketplaces, including eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, Grailed, Etsy, Depop, Kitizen, Shopify, Vestiaire, and now even Whatnot. You can also improve your listing photos with the included background removal tool powered by Photoroom, 
whatever plan you choose, Vendu is going to give you enough photo room background removals to do the cover photo of every single listing. So if your plan includes 300 listings a month, you've got 300 background removals every month. That in and of itself will save you money on a separate photo room subscription. Vendu also eliminates the risk of double selling an item. Vendu currently supports sale detection and automatic delisting on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, and whatnot. Meaning if you sell an item on one of those five marketplaces, Vendu will automatically delist that item from every other marketplace it's listed on, and you don't have to worry about it double selling. Vendu is also the only cross-listing and inventory management service that offers a fully functional mobile app. Everything you can do on the desktop version of Vendu, you can do on the app. You can create listings, you can edit your listings, you can take photos directly in the app and upload them to your listing. You can cross post, you can look at your analytics. Like I said, fully functional and included in every single subscription plan you have access to the mobile app. If you're ready to try it for yourself, Vendu offers a wide variety of subscription plans to fit every reselling business and budget. Vendu offers monthly and now yearly subscription plans. If you use my referral link down in the description below, you're gonna save 25% on your first month's subscription. And if you sign up for one of the new yearly plans, Vendu is gonna give you two months free with the referral code in the link down below. So go click on my referral link down below. It'll take you to the Vendu website. You can compare all of the available subscription plans, terms, and try it out for yourself. Okay. You found a bunch of new with tags bras. Mm, I did. And I want to lot these up. So, wait. No, this is a free people. This is not. Yeah, this, got... this is the uh, Aud... What is it? Audrey, I don't know. This Something. is a famous free people top. Okay, I just bought one in Nordstrom for twenty eight dollars, and I'm mad because it was two. <laughs> I'm really mad about it. I have the exact same top. Oh man. Um, but these okay. are the um, Wackle. Yeah, the Wackle bras, which they all have the tags on them that are marked down to sixteen ninety nine. But they, it's like, I'm gonna take that part off. Yeah. And uh, these are a little more vintage, and they were all like, I think two fifty or something. Yeah. So. How, what was our average cost of goods? We should have told them that. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't done it yet. I was gonna lot these up with similar styles. They're all the same size. That's the only reason I got them. Yeah. If they were not all the same size, I would never have bought them. And they're all new with tags. Yeah. yeah. And some of them are marked. Oh, it was six ninety nine. So they were like three fifty. Yeah. And some of them were like six ninety nine, and some were eight ninety nine. And I just put them all in the cart because I wasn't. There was a lot of activity in the it cross was section. Very busy. And I had to stand my <laughs> ground. I was like. <laughs> y'all let me bra yes and then dan came over and he was going through my cart and i was like please take out the 899 ones because that was a little too much for me <laughs> 450 like, no no <laughs> Wait, no 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 what was the average cost of good? I, I haven't done the calculation yet uh, but i mean we're we're always in the three to four dollar range yeah so okay this is a two-piece swimsuit this is triangle, which used to be really, really popular. I, and this it, is the smallest little top I've ever seen in my it's life. It's a band, so it's it's like Ooh. a little sensor bar. <laughs> it is. It's uh, censored. <laughs> anyway, uh, the color is trending. It's like this velvet. It's cool. And yeah, triangles are really expensive for him. So I didn't even look it up because it was like two bucks. That's not. There it is. It's triangle without an E at yeah. the end. And they used to have those neon. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? I don't know. We're twins in. I just forgot to turn it on. Um, they used to have those neon ones with the black. That's was triangle. Remember like three or four years ago with the black and it was neon? Yes. Yeah. Black <laughs> stripes. I'm like, you don't want to do this on my boobs yeah. all day. Anyway, we sold a couple of them. I do remember selling a couple of those. That brand. Yes. This is a brand I almost never pick up, but this was too cool. This is pretty cool. This I is love from this. UMG. Yeah, UMG is expensive at boutiques. It's like soup, like free people expensive. Yeah. But it doesn't resell for that much. But when it looks like this, when someone on basically in my mind when yeah. I'm shopping, I'm like, if someone on Poshmark is going to scan through Poshmark and it comes up on their feed and they're like, that's cool. Yes. Then I'm going to get it. Yeah. And it was two bucks. Of course I'm going to get it. Of course. Of course you are. So a lot of me these days is concentrating on style. A lot of me. 
And I that's for me, for sure. Anything that's cheap and tiny. <laughs> He's like, Target. I'm like, that's mine. Yes. So Thank you. One. Kids, mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, now you're seeing it. Okay. This is nice. This is Alice and Olivia. Yeah, I wanted to look at this again. Again, this was marked $3.99, so we paid $2 for it. What? There is some kind of malarkey going on here at the top. I don't know whether somebody did that. Somebody definitely did that. Okay. No, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So I will take that off. It's a plunge. And someone was trying to make it a somebody little more. Somebody was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's the, this is the gold Alice and Olivia tag. I love this brand. There you go. Love it. Love it. It's so hot in here. These poor little mini splits are barely keeping up. <laughs> Should have put insulation. I know. It is a hundred and like eight degrees out. Yeah, actually though, one oh six. Uh, is this for you? Of course. It yeah, is. That's you can show them though. It's this very is the cute. kind of stuff I buy. Um. And I'll try it on. If it doesn't fit me, then we'll sell it for 20 bucks. Yes. This is a Banana Republic Petite. They may have never seen this. Petite. Yeah, show that. Yes. This is the smallest size that Banana Republic makes. And it's worth seeing because I do sell this stuff. If it doesn't fit me, it sells for us almost immediately. Yep. And it says the word Petite. petite. Yep. And, um, and it's Banana Republic. It's really, besides that and like the Ludlow blazers for men, the petite stuff does very well mm -hmm. i'm not saying you're going to get rich on it but like if you paid a buck or two or if you're out of the bins it will flip sell for 20 bucks easy yeah. yeah because we're all of us double zero petites are like give me any dresses <laughs> and that was cute it is very cute so we'll see if it fits me women's tommy bahama this has become a new favorite of ours i found so much of it i know this is a jersey dress so we're trying to give you keywords here yes. adjustable straps you really want to note nice. that yes and uh, this is vacation. Put it in your keywords. Put it in the theme of eBay. Put vacation. Mm -hmm. Beach. Beach, yeah. So good. That's right. just like a little sundress. That's what that's called. That's a sundress. Okay. What are you? Is this you? Is this <laughs> I can't see. There's no tags or anything. Okay, let me let me in here. Let me in here. This is rough, cute though. This is mesh. Let me in here. This is from. Wait, no. This is. Oh, there's a tag up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French Connection. Yeah, I did get this. Uh, it's not for me. I think French Connection is really nice stuff, and I got this because it's black, it's mesh, and it's sheer. Got it. And it's a really nice piece. Yes. It feels heavy. It's nice, and it'll look great on the mannequin. Mm -hmm. There you go. Some people think that French Connection is on the level of H and M, and I don't. I don't agree with that okay. at all. Good to know. French Connection for me is more like Benetton, um, Mango. A little, uh, a little bit nicer. A little yeah. nicer. All right. All right. Uh, Club Monaco on that level. Okay. For me, the quality of it feels like that. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. Just for you, Tabby. Yeah, that's definitely for me. Show them that. Baby. Oh, look at this. Look how cute this is. And it's mesh. Oh, I want to try this on right now. What size is this? Extra small. Yeah, I got this for me. This is Cabby, which we don't normally sell, but it's reversible. Yeah, it is. So here's a hot tip. Hot tip. <laughs> yes. When the tag is on two little dangly, dangly dowdly, strings like, like that, yes. that is a clue that this is a reversible garment. But I love the pattern of this. I love anything 70s, like anything oh, geometric. That's really cool. The inside is all black and green. I know. I yeah. really want this Afimi. It looks like it's three sizes too big, but I'm going to try it because it has adjustable straps. All right. Mink pink. That, this thing is really cool. That thing is definitely, I'm going to definitely try this on. This is so Sweet. trending right now because it's a mini dress and it has the studs right here. Yeah, that's really cool. And this has this faux leather look, but it doesn't feel like leather at all. Oh, yeah. That's really lightweight. That's I love how excited awesome. you're getting over this. I'm definitely trying that. I'm going to put that in my pile, too. I, I will. <laughs> so I got a bunch of extra small stuff because that's my job at the thrift is to go through that section. Most of it won't fit, but I try to get stuff that's, like, trending anyway so that it will sell. All right. These dresses are awesome. I got all of them. 
so this is uh, this is one. This is Karen Millen, which is really expensive. I'm talking right? on the level of like Burberry expensive in England. Like we're talking major money. Yeah. Here it's like. <laughs> but I did hear they opened a Karen Millen in New York, and they're opening one in Dallas. So like, yeah, it might North be Park, I think. coming here. So I'm hedging my bets on this because they were two bucks each. Here's the tag right there. Just real simple. Karen yeah. Millen. And after living in England so long, this is definitely not going to fit me, but I won't try it on. Yeah. After living in England so long, I know how expensive this stuff is, and they were all there for two bucks. And I was just like, mm -hmm. so that was one. Mm -hmm. This is number two. Someone gave up their whole collection. These are really thick, double knit. Yeah, very. They're like heavyweight. Super stretchy. Yeah. I mean, the most flattering dress. Like, who doesn't want to wear this to work? One and done. And this is the third one right here. Wow. I really wonder how much these cost. Did you Google image it to find out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can tell that they're not the current season because of the yeah. color. I am so hot, y'all. Like, what do I it need? It is crazy hot in here. I need, a, I need, um, look, I'm looking at all these clothes. Like, what can I put on? Remember that one <laughs> video I changed clothes? I'm about to do it again. Okay, this is, woo! woo! This is Hannah Anderson. This is the, the famous star, I mean, heart. We've sold the pajamas of this. We've sold the top of this. And now we have the dress. Perfect. Everyone buys it for the kids for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's cute. But you should show them the, the tag the because yes. Hannah Anderson does well for us still. It does. It's one of the few brands of kids stuff that we consistently pick up. There you go. And make sure to spell the name correctly. Yes. Because you won't come up and search otherwise and then people won't find you. There's like two S's or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I picked this up in the pajama section. Lily Pulitzer. And I was wondering if we had shorts or something, we could make a little outfit. But if not, it's a silk tank top. And it was one dollar. One dollar, Bob. That's crazy. I wish I had a print. Yeah, yeah the Lily, the print Lily Pulitzer stuff obviously does is more popular. But I mean, this is still nice for one dollar. Expensive I was not designer stuff. It there. And I say it. I said the skirts. <laughs> your other hot tip is the hot tip. The pajama section. Yeah, for real. We have found so many amazing things in the pajama section this is nice teddy b ted baker ted baker filed for bankruptcy oh um so i'm not sure what's happening with that but i am sure what's happening with this dress uh -huh. it's a scuba dress yes, it is. and we talk about this on our channel all the time is there oh that was a stain can you get a... is there any way to show them have you ever felt a wetsuit <laughs> <laughs> there's no way to accurate no it's thick. It is. It's thick. It's like kind of stretchy. Stretchy. Here's the Ted Baker I'm tag. seriously looking for a shirt. <laughs> so hot. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Wait, didn't I get a Oh, but that's like a old too. This is nice. It is really nice. Yeah. Got a gold zipper on the back. We have to wait to see what happens with Ted Baker because sometimes after brands do bankruptcy they get bought out or they go lower quality or they shut down yeah i don't know i don't know skirt section skirt section fresh produce is very it, nice is it new size or not i don't think so i think it is yeah. but this is what the tag looks like Love this brand. We do. We pick up almost every piece of fresh produce stuff that we find. It's one of those rare, you know, blanket buys. If it says USA or made in USA anywhere on it, put it in your title. At the last three characters, put USA. And then in eBay, go down to country of manufacture and put USA. Yeah. It's so important. It is. There is a handful, more than a handful of buyers that yeah. shop by that filter. Yeah. So why not get those people into your shop? All right. More women's Tommy Bahama. Yes. I love this one because it was this kind is... of natural. Yep. It looked like a vintage tag to me, and it's just never going to go out of style. I've seen if it's actually linen. It probably is. Y'all, yeah. if you want to have your head fly back, <laughs> go to, into a Tommy Bahama store. Uh, we keep talking about retail pricing, but Tommy Bahama is one of those brands you wouldn't expect to be like crazy expensive. Whoa. 
crazy. That <laughs> skirt could have been over a hundred dollars. And that's at the outlet. I've never been to an actual Tommy Bahama store. I've been to the outlet. Yeah. Yeah. And right. it's a hundred dollars. We got another one here. Are they the same size? You could lock them up the um, same. Size two and size four. So ah. no. But this one's cool. This is like the inside out, you know, yeah. where the it's brighter on the inside. What do you, what do you call it? Reverse print. Okay. Um, I was wondering if it was reversible. It is not. No. Because of these ruffles. But it's cool. Yeah. Vacation wear, baby. The women's stuff has been flying out of here. Nothing this summer has been flying out of here, with the exception of Tommy Bahama women's. Yes, that is a true statement. This I, is new sex for yeah, people. Yeah, and it was two bucks. Mm. Uh -huh. We get 20 to 25 for free people. Yep. Unless it's something very special. Which this is not. <laughs> I do not we the free or intimate. I don't do that. I you free, just do people. free people. Yeah, there's there's just too many buyers looking for free people that I'm not going to split hairs. Right. And, and I don't feel bad about that. No, you shouldn't. It's the same business. Okay. Jude Connolly. We've been talking about this brand a lot lately. I passed a lot of it up. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Because it wasn't that cool. It was kind of like frump. Right. But this, this is very bright. This and like Scooby-Doo vibes, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. So I'm going to put that in the title. And so maybe we can sell this another way as well. We have one right here. Look, see, remember we did this in a haul, Jude Connolly. Mm -hmm. It's a golf wear. It feels like a swimsuit. I didn't pass up a lot, a lot, but like maybe three or four and they were priced really high. Yeah. That one was not an adequate print. So it was like a yeah. unique print. I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> But what are you going to do? I yeah. love selling ugly stuff. All right. This is another pair of black career pants, but these are from Hugo Boss. Such a great women's brand. You wouldn't expect that, right? Yep. Great women's brand. This is this is an older, could could be vintage. I'm not sure. It's just the, the white, white on white. It says Boss. But the easiest way, like, if the fabric, you know, if the care tag and the size tag looks like this it's rectangular it's got every different country size the qr codes this is sure sure surefire way to tell that it's hugo boss easy for you to say well it even says it says um hugoboss.com nice and all that stuff on this tag so all right got a polo shirt from goodman brand is this good it is not okay don't get confused with good Fellow. Right. That's Target. Yes. And there's another good one that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is. This one. We'll show you the label so you can remember it. Yeah, it looks like that. It says Good Man Brand. Yeah. Um, this stuff is is nice and it's you know decently pricey. Um, and it's from uh, this is Russell Wilson's brand. The oh. Brand. Oh. I was thinking Owen. No. Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I found a master's polo in the men's section also. Yeah! I'm pretty sure this is not a, one of the great ones, but I just grabbed it. You know, this is from Master's Collection. I'm trying to look on that thing if there's any stains. Yeah. Um, the camera picks it up better than the human eye. There you go. Like I said, I don't I don't I don't think this is a great one, but it was hanging there. It was like a, a dollar, so Coming take home. master stuff. Yep. The stuff I've been to the masters and that stuff is crazy expensive. Yeah, there's one brand that I was looking up because uh, I just did a search for masters polo in eBay and then I sorted it um, high to low. And there's one brand for sure. I think it's probably the official one, and it sells for like two hundred bucks a shirt. It's <laughs> so always look it up if you see the little yellow. Yep. <clears throat> All right, I found these. These are some Patagonia pants. Yes, they're vintage. Yes. <laughs> this is called double walled when something has like this. Can you guys see this? This, yeah. this is double walled because there's like a piece of fabric on top. It's like a large patch. Yeah, and it's meant to like make your pants. Look, see, now you can see. It's meant to make your pants durable. Yeah. And strong in case you fall on your knees or you scratch up against rocks or something like or you're that. You're sitting on rocks or whatever. Yeah. These are really heavy weight. These are like canvas. They almost. look like Carhartt to me. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, great. But usually they mark out Patagonia. These were these were not marked up. So we don't sell Patagonia for a ton. No, we are not those people. I don't. Yeah, I don't. 
it, it, it's never like been super great for us. Mm -mm. I don't know why. All right, this is uh, we found a couple and sold a couple of these. This is the shirt from Rochelle Barons. We sold one so fast. Yeah, yeah. The new I think it was new with tags. That's why it sold so fast. Uh, it's a polyester. Yeah, but it's expensive. It polyester. Is. <laughs> Here's what the tag looks like. There you go. The shirt. Nice. Yes. All right, I found this guy. This is from Roan, which I think is a Lululemon dupe. Is it good? Yeah. Oh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this brand is, is popular for sure. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just like a, a long sleeve Henley. You want to show them to, yeah, because I've never heard of that. I thought you were saying Road. Nope. Roan. Roan. I, I see this, this brand advertises all over my Facebook. It's because you talked about it. <laughs> no, no, even before. Did you look it up before? Yeah. So that's my problem. Well, I mean, I I looked it up your when I found. Knows. My phone knows. Your phone, the, the phone does not. Yeah. All right. This was. Uh, I got to look into this. I grabbed this. It could be good. It could not. I don't know. This looked interesting though. The, it says saw clothing, om, you know, om h o m m e French for men, luxury from Turkey. I want to look this up. This was like two bucks. But it's yeah, like, I would it's like it unique. Up. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's cool. <laughs> that looks expensive. Yeah, and the tag is like, it's large and it's tacked on and it's, all, and it's you know, black on black. So If you guys know, tell us. The comments of our last haul were so helpful. They really were. Incredibly helpful. Like, don't even think that it's rude or condescending or anything. We love it because we're just like you. Yeah, like somebody, try to learn. I, I don't remember who it was that mentioned it. Um, I'm sorry for that, but uh, the Grayson women's shirts, uh, that's uh, part of Frank and Eileen. What? Okay, yeah. so hot tip. Hot tip. Check the comments. <laughs> what is happening with my hair? Leave one too while you're at it. But always, if we're doing a haul video, we have like a really good group of people that comment anything they know. And sure. so we have this collective knowledge. Yep. All right, long sleeve quarter zip from Peter Millar. Embroidered or not, uh, I'm going to get these if they're like three bucks. Yeah. Every single sure. time. Uh, and Peter Millar has been has been starting to sell again. It was like really quiet there for a while. And it's now it's the season. Back up. Could be. Could be. Blue tape. Blue. Oh, it's got blue marks on the sleeve. Um, I found this. This is really, this is a nice dress brand. This is We Wore What. Yeah, it is. Not to be confused with who, what, where. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if this is ink, I can get it out like right now. Who wants to see it? Oh, you want to try? We have time for that? We got time. Do we have time? <laughs> okay, here's the tag. Again, here we go. We Wore What. This one's good. Who, what, where? Not good. Don't be saying the wrong one. That's bad. I really want to show them, like, rat. Who wants to so, see? so what she's talking about is the end of the sleeve. There's, there's this blue. Let's see if we can get that. Where'd it go? Right there, blue smudge. All right, come on now. So I have all the ink, you know, the full, uh, what is it called? No, the ink one. Amadex. Amadex. I have that. Girl. Mm -mm. No, what you got? This is Sebastian Shaper Plus Touchable Humidity Resistant Extra Hold Hairspray. I'm sorry. Hairspray? <laughs> Any hairspray. I got these at the thrift. I get like the junk bags full of travel <laughs> things so that I can, I steal. I don't steal. I get Q-tips that way. I, get <laughs> I do not pay for cleaning supplies. Um, tell, how do we zoom in? Let me see if it works first. This could be a, it could be whiffing. It could be whiffing. But hairspray, and then you throw it in the wash, obviously. Hairspray, if it's ink, it comes. Oh! <laughs> no, zoom, zoom, zoom. It's definitely, look at that. I'm also super into just doing it right now. I know that we're in the middle of a haul, but we don't do anything professionally anyway, because this will sit on the rack for three years. If I don't do it right now. Yeah. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I mean, look, it's just. 
coming right up. Yes, it's hair, just regular hairspray. It could be anything. It could be Aquanet. It doesn't matter. It's the alcohol in it and whatever else is in it. I don't know. And I, I'm telling you, it works better. Yeah, hold that open for me. It works better than Amidex. And I spent a lot of money on that. It comes right out. Any kind of ink, marker, pen. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. No. <laughs> this is better than DD7. Uh oh, look at that. I know. So now you know. So if you come across ink, you can do this yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Hot tip. Hot tip. All right. So you're gonna have to do this. You, I don't want to like. You yeah. can do this tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna leave you the, the supplies. Show them the after though. Did you show them the before? I did, but it didn't come through very well. Oh well, I didn't. So you're even... just gonna have to believe us. It looks way better. I got two full Q-tips of blue right here, and uh, thumbs up. Leave a comment. You know all that YouTube stuff yeah, for please. if you learn something. Yeah, come on. All right, this is another good man brand, but a full button down, short sleeve. Cool yeah. little butterfly Let's... print. Oh, butterflies! <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. My table is sticky now, so you do want to put it in the wash and then have a baby wipe on hand. I found a men's J. Crew Liberty of London fabric shirt. Shut up! Right? We love the Liberty of London. It's like a famous fabric house in London, and they make ditzy fine floral prints and they pair up with j crew and the women's stuff does extraordinarily yeah, well for us this is the first time i've ever seen a men's shirt same same yeah pretty cool all right uh this guy is a versace shirt our thrifts be like this yeah. They just have Versace hanging in the rack. Just chilling. Four dollars. Right. And at, at at that kind of a price, I'm just gonna buy it. And I'm I always assume stuff is real, you know? Especially something like this. Like it says Versace collection. I've sold a sport coat with the same tag before. Um and you know what to look for. Yeah. Like this it feels like it's a nice shirt. It looks like um, seersucker, is it? It's got the fabric tag in it down here. It's a seer sucker. This uh, I'm confident this is real. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean it's got the little V right there on the all the little details that you're looking for. Yep. And it's a dress shirt, even like the Versace ones. They don't go for that much. Right. Um one more. This one's very vintage. But this is the black label Versace. Just Versace with the would, Medusa on the label. It's got labeled buttons. Yep. The reason that we're talking at you like this is because we used to be afraid to sell this kind of thing. Oh, absolutely. And now we're not. Like, it's not selling for thousands of dollars. We'll probably get fifty dollars. Um, and so it's we look for all the signs of what's real, but we don't spend a ton of time. We don't send it to an authenticator. We don't. Girl, bye. <laughs> we'll take the refund. Like, yeah. we'll give you a refund if you think it's. It's not that big of a deal. Right. We but we also don't sell like Louis Vuitton or anything like that. Right. We're talking about like an, a vintage men's dress shirt. But there was a time that we were scared. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Yep. All right, you ready? We got yeah. some more seer sucker. I love a seer sucker. Oh, J. Crew Seer Sucker. Oh, this is a bro shirt for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Our neighbor's probably gonna steal this out of our garage. Should I just go gift it to him and be like, hey bro, hey, bro. I got you a shirt. Maybe think of you. <laughs> He's, he's definitely a finance bro, like 100%. Yeah. We have a frat house next door, but it's like they're older frat boys. They've right. aged out. They've aged out, but I've like, <laughs> kept the house. <laughs> it's amazing. And they have like frat parties on the weekends, but they're fully grown. Yeah. It's cute. It's so cute. You know what? Who am I to burst their bubble? There's you no do way. it. You live your best life, bro. Yeah. Bro, tato chips. Bro, tato chip. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a pair of Eileen Fisher pull-on pants. Come on now. These are the stretch crepe. They're not slim. They're no. not slim. Are they not? Stretch crepe angle pants. Yes. For sure. Uh, well, this used to be one of our top selling items. And sure. it still would be if we could find them. Right. But they've 
they've become a little scarce in the wild. Hot tip. Hot tip. Look at the butt. Make sure the butt is not saggy. Make saggy bottom boys because the butt on these pants, if you wear them enough we'll and you got get... junk in the trunk, yeah. you it'll get like, <laughs> you'll see butt prints in it. Do not buy those. Yeah. those we, we get returns on those when we list them. Okay. This is, um, this is a pair of, I think these are newer Zenergy Chico's pants. Come on, Zens. Right. This is the athleisure line from Chico's, and it does pretty well. Yeah, Not as a, good as T by Tell, it's okay. Got all the zipper pockets and everything. And what is this size three? Yeah, polyester spandex. Great. All right. This feels exactly like one of those Karen Millen dresses. Yes. Uh, but this is RVN, uh, and I looked it up, and the comps were pretty good because cool. I didn't know this brand at all. This is a drop waist, and so that's really. A silhouette that some people really, really like, particularly tall people, not short people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's super stretchy, yeah. sleeveless. It's not a double knit, but it is thick. Yep. So, the, like I said, the tag looked interesting to me. It's black on black. And it just says RVN. And I looked it up, and the comps were pretty good. Okay. All right. Uh, I picked this up. This is from a brand. I found a piece of last time. This is Pete. <laughs> Just Pete. Uh, okay. Remember that super cool, it was like very open mesh and like black and silver. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. This brand. They've got a meatball. Got some meatball on the collar. Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you could put this in the title. What, meatball in the collar? No, stain <laughs> treatment. All right, the first thing I do when there's something on the collar that looks like this and it feels a little crusty. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys. feels what, a little what, crusty. What we're talking about. So right right there, you can kind of see it. It's a slightly little little orange-ish right, right about here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> And I'm it telling you, in, ah, meatball. So yeah, we call it a meatball, and normally if it's just right here, it just was a drip, you know. I try peroxide on a Q-tip. This is the first thing I try with any meatball stain. If it comes out, great, and then we move on because you do not have to rinse it. It will not be. It's never bleached clothes on me. Peroxide has to be in much higher concentration. Most of the peroxide you buy at the Dollar Tree or CVS is water. Looks like it's coming up. Mm-hmm. And if I do it right now, it's done. Right. And then we can put it back over here and list it. This doesn't work all the time. But if it works now, we don't have to do anything. The second form of attack here, which I'm going to do, okay. is Folex. Because you don't have to wash have to that rinse it. Here. Yep. And so once you try both of those, then you can get into your other cleaners but try those first so you don't have to wash the dang thing right i know i'm not saying all the things you're not supposed to say out loud <laughs> but like isn't that just a little more helpful it is and that's the reality of it people come on we don't have time and we have three racks back there of stained clothing and i'm just sick of it so now i'm just like let's attack this right now and then yeah. if it goes back there it means it needs like further help yeah but we can at least do the first step. Can you show them the full X? I can. We can at least do the first step in trying to get through this. This is a carpet cleaner, but it's a no rinse situation. There you go. That's what it looks like. This stuff's great. Use it on what? A lot of stuff. I put that ish on everything. <laughs> it's like like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, exactly. Gone. Gone. Done. You need to show them the after. Ah. Everyone looks for the after. The after. Is it actually gone? Uh, I mean, I think so. It was like right about here, right over here. It looks better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to really get into the habit. I don't even care if we have to stop the haul. <laughs> <laughs> At least those two. And then once it goes there, it's in Stainland, and I know I need to take some time with it. All right. Uh, this is a pair of men's pants. These are uh, John Barbados. Oh, what a great brand. Yeah. Um, not the Star USA either. This is the top line. Nice. Barbados. 
find the, the tags that kind of hit me here on the side. There it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. And I want to note for anyone that's new here and they're working and they're listening, uh, all of this stuff has been prepped and steamed by our assistant April. It did go through a heater and we have it linked below. We put everything that comes into our house into this heater. It heats everything up for four to eight hours. Yeah, it's called the Ranger by Thermal Strike. And um, it's linked down below if you're into that. I'm really terrified of bed bugs yep. and fleas. We have cats and I yep. don't want any of that getting in my house. Yeah. So we use this device. It costs $200 and it worth it. It's worth it. Worth it. It does make your clothes a little wrinkly, but it doesn't melt then you or catch on fire or anything. It's fine. Right. It's totally fine. I just wanted to put that out there because they're probably like, my thrift store stuff doesn't look like that on a rack. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, the, the link below is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy one of those through that link, we do get a little bit of a kickback, which would be great. We appreciate it. Remember when someone bought a fridge? That was, yeah, so nice. that was awesome. <laughs> All right. This is Anything another, you buy once you click that link. Another pair of Escada pants. Oh, nice. They okay, have like see, they have like a little the pull right here and one right her. I'm gonna do it right now, y'all. <laughs> this is a sweater shaver. Like it was never even there. Uh, right there. Make sure to hold it really flat. We talk about this a lot because you can make your garments, but like yeah, it can grab it and like pull it even worse. This is a Con Air, but we also have an Ever Care. I get these at the thrift store and in the junk bags. <laughs> yes. The brand does not matter. Nope. Save your life. Look, now we can list those. Hey. It took me two seconds. They would have gone onto the bed. Like, uh. <laughs> I'm trying to nip this in the bud if you can. Nip it. Uh, Jay McLaughlin. We love this bird. Oh, it's not a blue tag. Maybe you can show it. Yes. This color. It's really, it's cool, right? It's, it's a like very... almost chartreuse. Yes. Um, <laughs> almost. The name was about to come out of my mouth. I, and then I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, goldenrod. That's what this color is. And it's very 70s. It's very retro. And these are a velvet pant. Someone's What really, is that velvet? Someone's going to love these. Yes. There's the tag for you. This brand almost in focus. <laughs> this brand also sells very fast for It us. does. Yep. Sure does. And we find uh, it quite a bit. Yeah. It turns out it's a rich lady estate sale brand. Yep. <laughs> we need like an acronym for that. We'll think of something. Uh, I found this guy hiding. What? Eileen Fisher. I knew it as soon as I saw it. It's like extra super... small. This is, this a, is a duster. duster. Yeah. This is the dustiest of dusters. <laughs> and this feels like maybe like a hemp or, oh, we got a meatball over here. No, it's too lightweight. This is linen for this sure. This is so nice. Well, it's a light weave too. There's a little spot little meatball? here. Okay. Um, this is a slub knit, meaning it has some texture to it. Slubby. Yo, I want a full Lexus right now. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> here, I'll show you guys the Don't tag. Don't click off. And the, uh, this, and you can see the, the slubs. Like, that's... What'd you call me? A slub. <laughs> all right, I have a microfiber cloth here to put in the sleeve. Come on, we're going for it. All right, all right. We're going for it. Might as well try it now. Oh, it's like the faintest little spot in nothing. No, it is not faint. If it was faint, I wouldn't be able to see it. There you go. I love Q-tips for these stain jobs because they can get in there and they don't... And they don't mess up the fabric. You're going to be like, oh, Amy, it's so easy to get stains. It's not. Nine times out of ten, these stains would not come out. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, these are. So that's good. Nice. I definitely saw the, the color disappear. Yes. Yep. Boom! You got to try it. Right. I feel like I'm like, full <laughs> I've been shouting this from the rooftops for years. Yes. yes Love this stuff. Uh, I got some dude pants. These are the Wednesday pants from Bonobos. They all have different like, names, right? Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, there's, they have day of the week ones, and then there's some with no names. These are just a 12 khaki pant. Just a 12 khaki pant. This will sell for, you know, 25 bucks probably. Okay. Bro pant. Bro pant. Uh, I found this. 
This is a new swimsuit, Cabana Life. That's cute. I looked it up, and the comps on this brand were pretty good. It's still got the liner in it. Thank goodness. Yes, that's how I know it's still new. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, right, good job going through the swim. Thanks. Cabana Life. I'm all about it. I'm all about that Cabana Life. <laughs> Same. Okay, uh, and this is Alice and Olivia. Oh, my God, they're just so cute. Little tiny shorts. You call these some, dress shorts. Dress shorts, yes. They're very cute. I wish they were my size. The white, white tag, oh, Alice and Olivia. Find, you found these at the same store? Yeah. Wow. I didn't go through shorts, I guess. Well, yeah. I only went through, I only go through the smalls. <laughs> it shakes me the entire time because I'm shopping for myself. Right. I mean, just to be honest. Yeah. So Dan does all the other sizes. All right, this is a pretty good one. What? This is a Victoria's Secret Angels uh, sweatsuit. This is fantastic. Thanks. It's got the wings on the back. Oh, yeah. It says Angel on the pants. This might, I mean, these pants have been either cut off or they're a raw hem, but yeah. whoever did it, they did it nicely. Yep. This is a great find. Thanks. Uh, I did look it up on eBay. Uh, there weren't any solds yet, but there was only two listed, and they were both listed at like 130 or 150 bucks. Great. Well, you know why there's no solds yet? Because eBay only goes back three months. Right, and it's August. This is the worst <laughs> time to look up winter stuff and, and get any kind of accurate data. So if you go to Terapeak, which is the eBay research tool, that goes back two or three years yeah. now, and that will be more helpful. But then it's not as yeah, like right? in style. It's very good. Barbie coated. Totally. All right. Uh, you guys have definitely seen these Chico's pants before, but these are in a double zero. Yes. The the cargo with the roll cuffs there. The elusive double zero. The elusive double zero in Chico's. Which is basically just a two. Right. <laughs> do they make a triple? I think they do. They do. And that's a zero, but it's still oversized yes. from what it should be. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is a pair of blue velvet flare, flare leg. leg. I'm dead. I want these snowskins. Oh my god, these are amazing! <laughs> I will sit in a cabin and wear these. Don't even worry. Right? Here's what the tag looks like. Wait, those are so cool. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. This brand does okay for us. I guess it's warm. I don't know. I don't snow anything. <laughs> <laughs> but That's I would wear those. Got. All right, this is definitely, yep, soft surroundings. I got dose of these. Yeah. Because I was going to lot them. Okay. These little tunics, they have this crepe fabric. These buttons here, this is a very lagen look. Look. Lagen look is a German. What does it translate to? It's German. Mm, I'm not 100%. <laughs> Mm. Somebody will leave a comment. But they were a dollar each, and I got two of them. That when you lot, especially soft surroundings, they do much better. For sure. See, there's that. It's the teal one right there. The one that I wanted to paint our house. That blue. This one. Yeah. I dose. I dose. <laughs> uh, I found this pair of mother jeans. I love selling mother jeans. And I never one find one little them. tiny little spot. Come on, come on with it. This is a smudge. Smudge. So this might need the grease. Now, I don't know, but that grease stuff, the... No, I see it. It's coming up on the Q-tip. telling you. Come on, Folex. And the thing about Folex, unless it's silk, which any kind of water-based product is going to leave a ring, it doesn't leave any kind of ring. Like, it is literally no rinse. I love Folex! <laughs> We'll have to wait till this dries, but I think I got it up. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. Oh, found another one. Get it. Somebody fell in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> this is after their uh, Zach Bryan concert. Exactly. Someone went, what you doing wearing white jeans to a country show? These are a whoopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> we got the meatball and the whoopsie daisy. Yep. All right, we'll have to check on those. And what you can do also, once you get that stain lifted, is um excuse me sorry I'm sorry. is throw these in the wash and then once the stain is like not embedded in the fabric it'll come right out yeah i would wash these okay we'll show you guys the tag here it's 
the white on white with the sparkly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be. It'll problem. be white on white, blue on blue, black on black. Yes. If you see a tag that's kind of shiny and you can't read it. I think the check pocket, it. don't the pockets always have this M on them? Almost like always, yeah. Like they can see that either. Hmm. 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 You can kind of see that. Here, leave me alone. All right. Uh, this is Gretchen Scott. Uh, this is, Gretchen Scott is really well for us. And this is a crazy cool tunic. Yeah. Somebody's going to want this faux show. Sure. Absolutely. Um, you could pair with those mother jeans and wear that to Miranda Lambert. <laughs> I'm a stylist. This is what I do. Yep. You found this. You said this was good, right? This is so good. <laughs> this is sweet like okay. i would Our, definitely look this up no matter what i never look things up in the throat and be real honest with you this is like neon leopard print this is and it is sweet. a four-way stretch meaning it's kind of like a ponty knit it stretches always uh -huh. and look at this neon leopard i was like girl and it said <laughs> made in italy i said girl. girl and then i looked it up and it's like 200 300 400 dollar girl oh really yes there you go what is this chiara boni you say it yep that's what i say uh, it's an Italian brand, and there's some super cool. I mean, it's it's not punk rock, so I think this style is more punk rock. It might go for more. La petite robe. That's this thing says. is cool. This thing is very cool. Good Gem five. and the holograms. You know, it's got that <laughs> edge to it. Yeah. Super cool. Hey, does not want to stay on. Yeah, you hand. need a bigger hair. All right, what is this guy? Marjor Majorelle. 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 This is a. Um, Revolve brand. I just got it for the style. It looks really love track fancy to me. Mm -hmm. It's got a drop waist, got all these things, but it's not over the top. Some people can't handle all the frills. This one's really understated. There's a new trend right now. I'm going to say it and I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's called Demure and it's just this week. <laughs> <laughs> that dress is Demure because a regular love track fancy dress would be like poofy here. Right? More ruffles, all more that. More extravagant. Demure is like just understated, classic, and cool. And it's a TikTok thing. Don't ask me how I know because <laughs> I don't know how I know. But I'm a stylist. That's how I know. That's how you know. And that style should do really well. The brand is pretty good. Pretty good. Not excellent, but pretty good. All right. Uh, I got this. This is from Harshman, Los Angeles. Yes. This is another uh, lag and look modern brand, though. A lot yeah. of people are selling this on whatnot. Got a little asymmetric button line with a ruffle there. Cute. Cute. Here's the tag for you guys. Everybody's loving the tag cam. Tag cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. This we'll is, let you know how that one does. This is a pair of leggings from Ultracore. I love this Ultra is Core. great. These are great. Yeah, I found these. Yes. Uh, and... They have like a leopard, a uh, snakeskin reptile. So on the back, it'll it'll say ultra core right there yeah. on the back waistband. These are extra small. I might have to try. Them. Might have to. They come along though. Huh? Snag these. Um, I love them because long, they're yeah. compression. Like okay. ultra core leggings don't mess around. Okay, no. they they like <laughs> <laughs> get you. God, I'm so okay. This is. Ferratelli. I didn't know this brand. And Amy was like, I can't believe you didn't look this up. And then I looked it up. And Cell 3 was pretty decent. So Well, I liked it. I didn't even know the brand. The style is pretty the cool. The style, too, yeah. I, I can tell it has Angora in it, like for sure. It's mixed media. It's got these open seams. And it's... No, it feels like it. What mm. does it have in it? Acrylic and polyester. Well, it feels like Angora, <laughs> for sure. It feels really nice. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed by that actually yeah but it has the mixed media which is different materials mixed in yep. love that it's not my style but somebody is gonna want that there you go excessive heat warning for dallas county oh no kidding Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> all right here's more tea by talbots blue and white stripe it's the Terry. I love it. Yeah. I can't get enough of the tea by Chelsea. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Shouldn't be. It sells for us. Eileen Fisher. Come on, Eileen. Okay. This is, nice. this is a double knit. Yes. Can you get in there and show them how the ribs on this side look exactly like the ribs on this uh, side? I, I would do my best. Because I keep talking about double knit, but I don't know if anyone knows what I'm saying. Right. 
So, so there's the outside. Like stretch it a little bit. Yes, you can see the ribs. Ribs. See, there it goes. And now flip it. Normally, the other side of this wouldn't look the same, but it looks exactly the same. So I'm not going to use any fancy terminology, yeah. but if it looks the same on the front and the back and it's a sweater, that's called a double knit. And it's very expensive because it takes twice, twice the, the material yep. to make. And it feels nice because the way a knit feels on the outside, normally it's a little rougher or fuzzier or something on the inside, mm -hmm. but this is nice and it lays against your skin and it's thicker and it doesn't wrinkle and it's just great. Yep. We love a double. Love it. So put that in your title. <clears throat> okay. This is also Eileen Fisher. This is the this is a hemp open cardigan. Uh, the hemp stuff from Eileen Fisher sells really, really, really. And well. it is not labeled here. Nope. So you have to be aware of what an Eileen Fisher tag looks like because I wouldn't have ever found this if I didn't know. Right. The uh, inside tag is what I mean. Yeah, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Even if it didn't have the inside tag, we sold so much Eileen Fisher. I was yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is there's two different styles. So there's this style of tag. All right, it's not going to focus on that, is it? That's like square like this and folded in half. And it's got a little number there that's not a style number, but should be. <laughs> um, and then the other ones are like rectangular and very long. And the long rectangular ones usually will say something about, uh, we want our clothes back, green Eileen or something like that. And that's a dead giveaway. Okay. This is the knit. Show them how this is flat. And on the inside, this is the pearls. And see how it's oh, yeah, ridged? Yeah, yeah, now yeah, you yeah. can see this is not a double knit. Let's see if this will come through. Yeah, it did. That's what I wanted to show. So it's flat. That's the front. Put your finger across it so they can see that it's flat. There's no ridges. Right. That's the knit. And then if you flip it, this is the pearl. And it's rigid. It has... Um... Texture. Yeah, you can feel it. Can you, Does it... Can you see it, though? Sort flip it the other way. No, no, uh, sorry. Flip it 90 degrees. Yes. See how you can see those ribs running down it? It has texture. It feels like, like, ribbed yep. on the other side. But the front side of it feels smooth. That's how you know it's not a double knit. Right. The people that are knitters in the thing are like, we know, Amy. But some people <laughs> don't. They're just like, this is new information. But that is an open knit, meaning you can see through it. Mm -hmm. It's not really tight knit. Yeah. And that's really something good to put in your title, too, because it's more of a summery situation. This has a little hole in the shoulder. A holder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is exclusively Miss Sook. This is nice. It's a double knit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. It's like. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. It's kind of dragging the floor there. But it's also, yeah, it's got a little hole up here by the shoulder. This might get redonated. Yeah, probably. Uh, the Masuk line, all of it, does really well for us, but not with holes. I'm sure someone could fix it. I am not that person. No. All right. This is uh, Spanx. Yeah, this is brand new, too. Brand new. Still got all the... You're going to have to pry this out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> I will never have a place to wear this, but it is an extra small. And, y'all, it has the thing where you can go to the bathroom. I'm... So, I mean, that's important. And it has this plunge neckline. And with Spanx, they have the style number, so you can tell exactly what it is. Yes. And it still has the clear straps in case you're trying to wear a backless thing. It's got all the things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that in my pile. I'm going to have okay. to try it on. Right. Melt myself down, pour it in. <laughs> all right. This is uh, Cool. K-U-H-L. I like this brand. I do, too. This is a really, really thin, lightweight hoodie. It was laying on the floor. Perfect. I pick up everything at the thrift store. That's, <laughs> I was working at the thrift store, straight up working there yesterday. For real. Everyone kept asking me questions, and I'm like, I really don't work here. This is what the tag looks like. With the little mountain and the shield there. I had a karma thing, though. I feel like if I help, then it, yeah. the thrift store gives back. The universal lets you find something good on yeah, the next trip down the I aisle. I really do. Mm -hmm. And then I was finding all this good stuff. So I'm like, better pick that up. I was taking the hangers and... Collecting them. That's for you. Right, this guy? Mm-hmm. All right, we got more soft surroundings. This one's super cool. This is really cool. This has embroidery on it. It's actually an applique. 
It's actually, you know what? This is rope. It's rope. And then yeah. it's tacked on. So I don't know what that is called. It's not actually an embroidery. This is this is Johnny Wes level. It feels really yeah. nice and expensive. It's got these open sleeves. It's a um, crepe style. It's like a gauze. Like a gauze. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. And again, soft surroundings went out of business and we're waiting to see what happens. I know someone bought them, but that doesn't mean they're going to survive. Nope. It doesn't mean it's going to still be good. And some people might love the vintage, so we're, we're still picking it up. This is Chico's V-neck. Is it tunic? Yep. Yeah, I bought this. I think I got this one. And it was like 50 cents. I think yep. the thing was 99 cents. And I'm like, well, well I guess I'm getting that one. The right. tunics do well. Got more Escada. This That's is a... That is nice. This is really nice. This is, um, I want to say wool and silk. Is that what it is? Yeah, it feels like a, that is nice. Um, come on. There's definitely silk in here. Yep, 70% virgin wool, 30% silk. Nice. Mm -hmm. Love. <clears throat> this is a Banana Republic. Um, unstructured knit women's blazer it's yeah. a ponty knit it which means as a four-way stretch it's mm -hmm. very heavy careful when listing these because they're heavy yeah. um yeah this is nice it has it's exposed cool, right? seams pockets are open so that means it's probably been worn which is fine but this is nice people are looking for this like it's from fall 2018 we're looking for the casual work vibe. Yeah. Still feels good and comfortable. I think beta brand, even though those are out now. Yeah, I left a pair. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Everybody's past beta brand because everybody's doing it better. Better. <laughs> better brand. Better brand. Oh. Sorry, beta. Sorry. Not they sorry. took your idea and ran with it. Yep. It's capitalism for you. Yeah. All right. This is two extra large Peter Millar golf shirts from the same golf club here in Dallas. Uh, it's got the embroidery on the sleeve. They're the summer comfort. Yes. Uh, tournament, um, corporate, golf course branding of any kind does not does not inhibit the sale of these sh kinds of shirts right. at all. So I always just take a picture of it and put it in the title. Cool. Yep. I would lot them. I think I'm going to, yeah. You can get more money with lots. People yep. feel like they're getting a better deal. For sure. All right, we got more Chico's Energy. This is cool. Hoodie. Wait, I would wear this. It looks like streetwear. Come on, Chico's. <laughs> you can't see the detailing on this, I don't think, but it's cool. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah this looks like them. Balenciaga or something. Super cool. I mean, I'm I'm constantly impressed with the quality of like, Chico's stuff. It's nice. They make nice stuff. Did I ever say I would ever think I would say I that? No, I no. love it. Where's Chico's men? Where's Chico well, should be men? Where at? Yeah, right. It should be Chico's. Chico's. Wait, why have we never discussed this? Well, because there was the name. We, somebody looked it up. Yeah. It was named after the bird next door. Oh yeah, the bird. <laughs> uh, this is free people. This was two bucks. This thing is super cool. Are you ready for it? Boom. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, like, let's just put massive buttons on the back that serves no purpose. You know no who purpose. had buttons on her back? Miss Mary Mac. Yep. Uh. That'd be, That's all we have to say about this that guy. Be comfortable to sit yes. back in. Yes. <laughs> what are they doing? You don't sit you in don't this. You don't sit in this. This is standing only. All right. Uh, this is another Peter Millar. This is an extra, extra large. This is a PK. This is not a summer comfort. No, the summer comfort are like the dry fit wicking material. This is a PK, I should say. A PK is your typical polo shirt. Like think of polos from back in the day, like Ralph Lauren polo. That it's a little bit bumpy. That's yeah. a PK knit. Cotton polyester spandex. Yep. It's really nice though. That one feels really nice. Yeah. All right. If, the... Man, I got some of that dust in my eye or something. Oh, no. All right. I found another. This is a window pane sport coat from. Hart Schaffner Marks, the Gold Trumpeter. Oh, we love a Gold Trumpeter. This is, their, this is the top of the line HSM stuff. Uh, it'll always have this gold stitching right there. And then the little logo's right there. 
and sometimes it'll say gold right there. Y'all, I gotta tell you a story. Thomas I Thomas. well, you're doing. I had to go and get a suit for work. I had to find it the same night, so I had to go get it off the rack. I went to the men's Dangum warehouse, the Joseph Dangum A Bank, to the all the dang yeah men's places. Stores. The suits that they are selling are the cheapest crap you could ever imagine. Glued together, the cheapest suit you could imagine, and they were the cheapest I could get out of there was twelve hundred dollars. And I'm like, what? At Joseph A. Bank? What? Like, I'm talking, I had to get a shirt, a jacket, and pants. $1,200. They wanted $200 for a dress shirt, over $800 for the jacket. I'm sorry. I, I had a meltdown <laughs> in the store. She did. I heard it. It was epic. Ep epic. And then I went across to the outlet <laughs> mall, to the off Sac off Fifth, Saks Fifth Avenue, and they had a Xenia, Italian-made wool and silk two-piece suit for four hundred dollars get out of here and we could have gotten that same suit if i had had time at the thrift store for eight dollars true like menswear is where it's at because there's no uh, you can't get it cheap no the cheapest <laughs> you can get it is four hundred dollars so if we have a suit that's a zania that we paid four for we can at least sell it for like 300. sure but people are buying cheap joseph a bank i'm not i'm not dogging on that but the way it was made was cheap it was scratchy yeah and the person I needed to put this on, that was not happening. Right. Like, I could not do that. And it was $1,200. Who has $1,200? Like, if you're getting married, you have to go to a funeral or some job interview. Who has $1,200? Crazy. Me. That's why menswear is doing so well on eBay. I think so, yeah. Hot tip. Hot tip. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Sorry for my tangents. This this is really nice. This is 100% cashmere. Um window pane this is in the women's section uh i don't know if this is ross gordon winston salem i'm thinking that's the store it came from yeah and then this says this just says imported 100 percent genuine cashmere but the lining has this logo I, i've seen this before i thought it was like hermes but it's, it is not it's not but it looks kind of it look, looks like a little coach there i don't know what brand this is i'm gonna have to do a little research on it but even if I can't figure it out, I'm still going to sell this as an unbranded 100% cashmere support coat. It feels just like a sweater. It feels so nice. Yeah. And it was $7.99, so it means we paid $3.50. That's, that's insane. Wait, $4. Insane. Why can't I math? It's fine. $4. All right. Uh, we got some more soft surroundings. This, this is cool. It's like a tapestry dress, and it even has the fringe at the bottom. So it's supposed to be like your, you know what, for Aladdin, the magic carpet could wear this. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, it's classic. It's soft surroundings. It's boho. If you're not into the carpet thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a J. Crew collection. I love this Hound, metallic. Metallic houndstooth jacket. Isn't this cool? This is also like a tweed situation uh -huh. looking like, and that is super. Oh my God. <laughs> this chartreuse lining is every. See, I'd wear it like this, folks. And somebody did because there's a little foundation right here. Uh oh. Well, should yep. I? Nah. No, it'll come out right <laughs> This um, rayon kind of linings like this, it, it comes out with no probs. Get in there. You just let it dry like this. Okay. Yep. So yep, there it is. <laughs> Check the other side. Solving the world's problems here. Of course someone had these exposed. These are amazing. Right. Anyway, this is this look, this short crop kind of Chanel looking thing is super in right now. It would be better if it had buttons on it. We could probably. Uh, there's no buttonholes. There's no. Oh, it's got a. Uh, it's got a hook and bar. Okay, so on the mannequin we'll close yes, it. But yes. the actual pearl buttons are in. All of that kind of like old lady stuff. It's in. Is it? You heard it. Yeah. All right. All right. I got another one of these uh, zero restriction. This is golf wear. This is a sleeveless rain jacket. Nice. Oh, it's microfiber. Micro suede. Yep. Micro suede. Yeah. This, this brand does does decent uh it's zero restrictions it's always got a zr on the back of it right there where do you buy this i've never seen i it. don't know and like i said i mean this has got some embroidering from like a tournament or something on it take a picture of it disclose it it'll still sell 
All right. This is cool. I bought this, this is, while you were at the register. This is the Savile Row Company for women. I didn't care what brand Love it was. Love a novelty print. It's got little God, London got buses London on it. It's got double decker buses. I, I, this was my size. Oh, I'm about to take it for the fabric. Look at that. I could <laughs> not. That's awesome. No way was I leaving that. No. I feel like this might be an okay brand too. But whatever I, I, it is. I mean, I, I think I've sold a sport coat from them before. It's yeah. not like super great, but it does all right. Is this silk? Well, I no, don't it's think a poly, so. but if, it's like a really nice poly. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a trash bag. Right. Yeah. It's from the spring of 18. Okay. Little double decker buses. Are we kidding? I'm getting them <laughs> every time. This is cool. This is a Lululemon shirt. Yeah, and this was only a dollar because they marked it at one ninety nine. But I saw this. Yes. Which is your first clue? The Lulu shape. You can barely see it. And then the print says Lululemon. It does. In it. Lululemon Athletica. Sweat. Travel. Friends. Same. Love. Dance. That's cool, right? Yeah. It's very Y two K, with the handwriting print. Very cool. And it was one dollar, Bob. So one dollar. Definitely got that one, Bob. All right. New with tags, Vineyard Vines performance polo shirt with the Cornell logo on it. Well, first of all, I know bros, and I know Cornell because I'm from the East Coast. Yeah. I knew this was a good shirt. I didn't know it was new tags. Right. So the tag was hiding on the inside, and this is I lost my mind about this earlier. I looked at it. The retail price of this. Are you ready? One hundred twenty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. I'm oh, sorry. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I mean, maybe from the Cornell bookstore or something. I mean, this is, is yeah, Vineyard Vines block C over Cornell Bradley stripe polo. But I... those Saint Bernard stores sell school branded uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. Is, that, is that what it's called? Did I just make that up? That store? Yeah. No, yeah, it's called Saint Bernard. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we just had a co private conversation. Sorry. You leave us alone. Get out of our business meeting. <laughs> so yeah, man. see. Uh, these shirts feel exactly like a summer comfort. Crazy, right? One twenty nine ninety nine. We don't pick up any other Vineyard Vines. Only the performance stuff now. <laughs> yeah, and that's Vineyard Vines is still definitely marked up at the thrift. Mm -hmm. So this one must have snuck by. And it was on the new rack, and everybody was clamoring after the new rack, and no one grabbed that. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just goes to show. <laughs> That everyone's after something different. That's true. There's room enough for all of us. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Theory, size petite, this is for you, isn't it? Of course. Wait, I didn't <laughs> pick this up. Did I pick this up? I think I did. Yeah. Okay, this is a rib knit because it has these ribs. It's super stretchy, but look at these bell sleeves. Mm, so cute. I'm a sucker for a bell sleeve. I am. I wish this was like <laughs> this short and the loose sleeves are like this short. You wish it was a PP, not just a P. They don't make it any smaller at the theory. Mm hmm. So that one get it gets sold. It's so when you, when you see a size tag like that that just says P, that is a regular extra small. Never been more happy and proud. All right, last one for this rack. River Island. This is an English brand. This is cool. I know there was a lot of English stuff, so somebody must have just donated from the UK. The reason I River Island is expensive in the store, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of like uh like an Abercrombie. I feel like we went into a we River did. Island store. We did. It's very preppy. Um, but the exposed zipper I was gonna show them at. That yeah. is why I bought this dress. Look at that thing. Yeah. The longer the zipper, the higher <laughs> the quality. Because they're expensive. Yes, they are. Um, so I didn't look that one up, but I do know the brand. It's similar to um Karen Millen in that I know it from England. And it's a little bit preppy. It's like an Abercrombie or like a, a J. Crew, but a little more high end, in my opinion. Okay. Gotta park this guy back over here. Hey. Oh, I don't know what's happening. We're having bumper racks over here. How did you know that tiny sparkly shirt was for me? <laughs> I, I just had a feeling. Dan comes over to me at the thrift store all the time. He's like, this looks absurdly small. I think you might like it. <laughs> Not wrong. To... What is, no, you don't say absurd. You say comically. Comically small? This looks comically small. Will it fit you? Yes. Yes, it will. Oh, crash. Mm -hmm. All right. This is where we're starting. Ready? Okay. This one's good. Oh, this is very good. 
designed by Laura Ashley in London, made in Japan. So this is a vintage Laura Ashley dress, and there are some things that you really need to look for. And I'm sure there are people way more knowledgeable about this than me in the comments. I know this from costuming, which is different than fashion. There you go. So this is from the 70s, in my opinion. Um, yeah. It looks like a prairie dress. It has Ditsy that ditzy print. print. It has that Victorian vibe. It's velvet. But you can sell this today it's as got goth. The belt. And it's got the belt. Dan came over <laughs> and he's like, is this good? I'm like, yes, <laughs> put it in the card. I think I got a good one. Uh, it looks Victorian. And that was the whole thing. It's maxi length. It's got these yep. nice, nice lining. It's fully lined all the way to the bottom. This thing is nice. This is <laughs> choice. And it was just hanging there. It's just hanging there. This You have to be careful with vintage, though. This is a size nine, which is probably like a modern zero. I'm not even kidding you. Yeah. So you got to measure it and then put both sizes in the title right. so people know what they're buying. Yes. Because that ain't going to fit a regular nine these days. No way. Oh, no. no way. <laughs> and it's also because it was made in Japan. Like, I know that, but, like, uh, I have a golf shirt that I that I found at the thrift, mm -hmm. and it's got different sizes for different countries in it. Yep. And it is a Japanese large, but a U.S. small. That is for sure. That's how it goes. Yep. That's why I love Japanese clothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. This is Tadashi Shoji. We love, to, speaking of Japanese, right. we love Tadashi Shoji evening <clears throat> wear, particularly the long stuff like this. It's a maxi length. Great mother of the bride dress. Um, some of the Tadashi Shoji stuff is more mature like this, and it does really well for us. Yeah. Cool. This is nice. It was like three dollars. I couldn't believe it. I don't understand. Well, it was all tied up. Okay. Yeah. So people didn't probably know <clears throat> how pretty it was. All right. What do we have here? Soft surroundings. I think I got this. It's still it's new without tags. A large tall. Oh, that's great. It has the open shoulder and it's mesh. Yep. So that is so trending right now. You can see through the sleeves. Yep. <clears throat> Button front. That's cool. Really? <clears throat> yes. Mm. Uh, was this for you? Was Lulu's? Oh yeah, I was. I bought two white dresses. I was gonna try that one. With Look how bow. cute! Look at that. Aww. It's not gonna fit me, so it'll be for sale. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. For you, M M the floor new with. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And it's four dollars. I, don't I know. cannot believe that. Amazing. This brand. Wow. This is a Ponty knit. It's four way stretch. It has all the tags to keep or not to keep. Yep. This is from MM Lafleur. Like this is a really nice yes. career wear brand. It has the name of the guard. This is the Annie 2.0 dress. Wonderful. The thrifting in Dallas is really good. It's, it's been really good again lately. Yeah. There you go. And a lot of, they're missing a lot of the things that are new with tags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they don't watch our videos. We showed that last time. Okay. This is soft surroundings. This is really love, cool. Love, 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 love. And it's a 1X. It's a 1X. Love. We yep. barely find soft surroundings plus sizes. Love that. Mm -hmm. We try to be so inclusive in our stores to have stuff for everybody. Love that. That is cute. Cute. All right. Uh, she goes Travelers. Just a cow neck long sleeve. They've been marking Travelers up. Mm -hmm. This was only a couple bucks, though, so I got it. Is yeah. it a small? I think I got this one. Uh, I, No, there's no size tag. We'll have to measure it. Yeah. April's good about that. See, I'll, I don't know what to put. She just like, eh. Yeah. She measures it, and she looks in the size chart, and she's like, it's small. <laughs> I'd be like, are you sure it didn't shrink? You know, I have so many reservations. She just listed. All right. Uh, Chico's size four. I love this. This, this is, is a, a, um, a, like a sporty dress. Sporty dress. Because yes. it has like the drawstring here, uh -huh. which is really nice. It's stretchy. Yes. It's awesome. It's a good one. Cool. We love Chico size four. Don't find it very I often. hardly ever find it. Yeah. Maybe once every couple times we go thrifting, yep. I'll find one thing. Yep. All right, we're, <clears> it looks like we're in Chico's world. Yes, I got this. Yeah, you did. This is really cool. This is a sheer poncho. 
and it has the tassels and they're in good condition, somebody is going to love this. Yep. It's like if you're wearing like a black. You know, Kara's going to buy this. <laughs> it's a large, extra large. If you're wearing like yep. black shirt and black pants and you put that on, it all, all of a sudden makes it into an outfit. Yep. Love that. What are you? E Shakti. Size five X. I didn't know about this brand. I think it might be Amazon. How it might be. I think it still sells though. I do too. <laughs> I think we've sold it before, and I love. It felt nice. It does. Yeah. It didn't feel like cheapo Amazon. And, and we but don't... it looks a little small for a five X to me. Right. So it might be an Amazon five X, which is like probably a three X or a two X. Okay. All right. We'll measure it and then do what we can do with that. But yeah. I really like this piece. This is cool. Yeah. I don't know. We've sold it before. Okay. <laughs> this is this is an Amazon thing. For sure. I know what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Isn't it cool looking? I love it. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to be like Comme de Garcon. I know. I, love it. <laughs> I was gonna wear it under like a black dress, so the sleeves came out. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you leave me alone. You leave me alone. All right. What is this? This is Wilfred Silk and Cashmere. I left this behind and then you picked it up. And it's not as bad as I thought it was. So it's an Aritzia brand and mm -hmm. it does have cashmere and there's no holes in it because I looked at it. I thought it was wash worn, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure that it is. It's definitely 2012 with these droopy pockets down here. Yeah. Um, but somebody probably has this and needs to replace it. I could see that happening for sure. Is this gonna? No. No. <laughs> I tried. Dang it. Dang it. All right. This. What is this? Free peeps. So cute. Some of this free people stuff that looks like this can do really well. Like if it's a. Is this a one. romper? Yeah, it's a romper. Okay. It's so cute. And it was a couple bucks. I left so much free people behind because they had priced it crazy. Yeah. That's cute. You do that. Like, there's like phases right, with a couple of brands. So they'll just start pricing like <laughs> ridiculous. All right. Vintage Theory Size Zero Blazer. Yes. Buy them. <laughs> wear them. I wear a double zero, but oh. there are many petite people that will buy this. Yep. And this is the, the Vintage Theory is this rectangular one like this. All right. This is Beyond Yoga, and like a like a long front wrap sweater thing. I think this may be Fab Fit Fun. We'll have to look it up. I did. Okay. And I, it was it was I. That's I was I. I okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Careful with Beyond Yoga. They've been in Aloe. They've been doing Fab Fit Fun, which is a subscription box. Okay. And so then a lot of people have it. Right. It's kind of like that spiritual gangster kimono. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. This is DVF. What's going on here? It is one. It is asymmetric. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so it has a cool drape to it. Yes. This is like that. Some irony. What's going on there? Oh. Oh my God. I'm so hot, y'all. That one spot there, that is kind of. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. We'll have to Wait, look at it. Oh, it has hanger straps <laughs> on it. It's getting much warmer all of a sudden. Did you get much warmer too? Yeah. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ted Baker. This is a really nice floral skirt. Yeah. I love that. It's got pockets. Love a pocket. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Exposed zipper on the back. Yeah. It got super hot in here all of a sudden. Yeah. It's for those wondering, it is 7 30 p.m. and it is 102 degrees outside still. Okay. Uh, I picked up this guy. I looked up. This is a Merrill uh, oh, nice. rain jacket. Merrill makes like hiking shoes and stuff, but apparently they also make outerwear. Nice. Yep. Um, here's the tag. Like I said, most of most of the stuff you'll find from Merrill is shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in the home stretch. Home stretch. Uh, Chico's Travelers, size three with some rivets. Grommets. Grommets that's the word. Grommets. Uh, asymmetrical. Yes. Slinky. 
Chico's Traveler's Pants. Two, two regular, black, slinky. Also, check the butt. Make sure it's not uh, worn. Yeah. Yeah. Like the collar? Like, you got to stretch it, and you can see sometimes. You can see right through it. You're like, okay, it's done. <laughs> done so. uh, Eileen Fisher, Petite Large. Yes. There you go. This is a jersey tunic. It yes. could be a mini dress. Could be, just depending on, on you, I guess. Eileen Fisher Petite will say Petite on the label right there, and it also has the PL for Petite Large. Petite means short. Okay. More Lafayette 148 pants. Capri. Capris. Do these have a name? No. These are a size 16. Great. Yep. Okay. Uh, you got these, right? Yep. And other stories, Los Angeles Atelier. Yeah, I love. And other stories is hit or miss. Uh, it's an okay brand, but I love the yeah. high waist. They're wool, and look at these long. They're super <laughs> long, which is super trendy right now. These are. Pretty and cool. there's this bright like cobalt blue. I love these pants. So this tag looks like this. It'll say, and other stories right there, and yeah. it'll either Los Angeles Atelier. Mm -hmm. There's there's other cities where it'll it'll say, instead of Los Angeles. Yeah. It's all the same, all the same brand. <clears throat> All right, some more Joseph Ripkoff. That is not, that looks like soft surroundings. I know, right? That's crazy. Huh. Huh. What do you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got like, we got like seven more. I'm about to pass out. Okay. Uh, uh, these are fuzzy or fuzzy. This yeah. is really nice. It is really nice. These are sheer pants. Yes. It's a designer from Italy. Very, very nice brand. I found something else too. You did last time, yeah. But we didn't show them yet. Did you already list it? I already, yeah, we already took pictures of that. There you go. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy. <clears throat> All right, I got, I grabbed this. This is Nike, uh, a red tag, but it's got the old school Washington Redskins logo on it. Which are now the Washington Commanders. <laughs> I'm from DC. Right? It's you didn't you. tell me you got this. No, I didn't. I wanted to be surprised. That's amazing. Yeah. That's in really good shape. Uh, don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> Will I sell it? Yes. <laughs> Do I think it's wrong? Probably yes. Am I from DC? Yes. That yes. love is from my, <laughs> my hometown team. <laughs> All right, we got another Eileen Fisher. Just a jersey knit. Jersey knit. Yep. T-shirt, basically. Yep. You've been finding Eileen at the thrift. And I told you, you've been finding a lot of it. This is some pull-on pants. Eileen Fisher. These are jersey pull-on pants. These are a palazzo. They're a wide leg. Yes. And they kind of flow. That's what makes a palazzo. Yep. Those will definitely sell. Size 1X. Yeah. Fresh produce. What? Yeah. Tell me why these look like scrubs. I don't know, but they really do. Also, size one X. Cool. I bet you the Super same cool. person wore those. That's the same kind of style. Uh -huh. Yeah, probably. Joseph Ripkoff. Now that looks like a Ripkoff to me. Yep. Yeah. You wear this with the pants with the one stripe. Yeah. <laughs> it. Right? It's slinky. Okay. Uh, more Eileen Fisher. Oh, v neck. Yes. Jersey knit. Yes. All these are always made out of like organic cotton. They have like a lot of nice fabric fibers. Yeah, or Pima cotton. Because they're $100 t shirts. Tencel nylon cashmere. That one is cashmere. That's what I'm telling you. Put the materials, take the time and put them into eBay and put them in the title if you can fit. Yeah. Hello. This is cool. This is from Robert Rodriguez. It's like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I love it. Did you pick you picked this oh, up? Oh, I definitely yeah. did. <laughs> Mrs. Roper thing parties are a thing right now. They sure are. And come on now. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's the uh, tag for this one. This brand is hit or miss for me too. Yeah. But it used to be really, really good. I love selling ugly things. Okay. That's the truth of the matter. That's it. That was the last one. We made, it. we made it! Oh my gosh, we have Woo. to go inside, y'all. It is just 
Yeah, this one was Brutal. not quite as long as the last one, but yeah, almost. Pretty good almost stuff, there. though, huh? Right? Yeah. And this was, with the exception of like the last 25 things, this was, it was all stuff we found last weekend. Or In not like day. three days ago. Yeah. Yeah. So. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. Come on now. Back to school. It's like, let's go. Let's go, Q4. Come on. Hope the stuff starts selling. Please. Got to get it listed first. Um, yeah, that's all we got for you today. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Here we have a Jeremy in his natural habitat. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to fall. You are. You're going to fall. Sweet boy. <laughs> Where's your sister? Oh, she just got up. Gesundheit. Good Lord, picnic. You going to your treat box? Oh my God, I can't. Jeremy, good boy. Picnic, you still messing with your snotty, snotty nose? You sweet girl. Shake it off. You good? There she is. <laughs> All right, guys, treat time. Bye.